Hello, my name is Stiley Hayward. I would like to welcome you to the Blessed Hope Ministry. We are a King James grounded family Bible study. These lessons are not to be a substitute for regular church attendance. Nightly I direct my family through the Bible by chapter and verse. We request you to join us and to study from God and His Son Jesus Christ. You may have permission to like, send, or encourage our studies with family or friends. Edification of what God has and what He desires in our life. Study to show thyself approved unto God. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly divine the word of truth. You may use our studies, but I request that you do not abuse them. For YouTube videos, subscribe below for more videos. And place the thumbs up and leave a comment or email me. Thank you. Exodus chapter 40. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Now we're going to get a date. The first day of the first month shalt thou set up the tabernacle of the tent of the congregation. And thou shalt put therein the ark of the testimony, and the cover, and cover the ark with the veil, so no one can see it. Thou shalt bring in the table, and set in order the things that are to be set in order upon it. Thou shalt bring in the candlestick and light the lamps thereof. And thou shalt set the altar of gold for the incense before the ark of the testimony. And put the hanging of the door to the tabernacle. And thou shalt set the altar of the burnt offering before the door of the tabernacle of the tent of the congregation. Thou shalt set the labor between the tent of the congregation and the altar. And shall put water therein. Thou shalt set, thou shalt, and thou shalt set up the court round about, and hang up the hangings at the court gate. Thou shalt set, uh, boy, uh, thou shalt take the anointing oil, anoint the tabernacle, and all that is therein, shall hallow it, make holy, and all the vessels thereof, and it shall be holy. And thou shalt anoint the altar to burn offering, and all his vessels, and sanctify the altar, and it shall be an altar most holy. Thou shalt anoint the labor in his foot, and sanctify it, set it apart. And thou shalt bring Aaron his sons unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, and wash them with water. And thou shalt put upon Aaron his holy garments, anoint him, sanctify him. That he may minister unto me in the priest's office. Thou shalt bring his sons and clothe them with coats. Thou shalt anoint them as thou did anoint their father. That they may minister unto me in the priest's office. For their anointing shall surely be an everlasting priesthood throughout their generations. Thus did Moses, according to all that God had commanded him, so did he. And it came to pass in the first month, Abed, the second year, we are two years since the exodus out of Egypt. On the first day of the month, exactly two years since they came out of Egypt, the Passover night, now here, on that anniversary, the tabernacle was reared up. It's built. It's set up. And Moses reared up the tabernacle and fastened his sockets and set up the boards thereof and put in the bars thereof and reared up his pillars. He spread aboard the tent over the tabernacle and put the covering of the tent above upon it as the Lord commanded Moses. And he took and put the testimony into the ark and set the staves of the ark, and put the mercy seat above upon the ark. And he brought the ark into the tabernacle, and set up the veil of the covering, and covered the ark of the testimony, as the Lord commanded Moses. That veil is the one that Jesus will rent. And he put the table in the tent of the congregation, upon the side of the tabernacle northward, without the veil. And he set up, and he set the bread. In order, this is the first time the bread's laid out upon it before the Lord, as the Lord commanded Moses. 
and he put the candlestick in the tent to congregate over against the table on the side of the tabernacle southward. So the table is on the north end, the candlestick is on the south end. He lighted the lamps before the Lord as the Lord commanded Moses. He put the golden altar in the tent of the congregation before the veil. Like I said, when you read different places in the Bible, that, that incense altar. And he burnt sweet incense thereon as the Lord commanded Moses. And he set up the hangings at the door of the tabernacle. He put the altar of burnt offering by the door of the tabernacle, the tent of the congregation. And he offered upon it the burnt offerings and the meat offerings as the Lord commanded Moses. He set up the labor between the tent and the congregation and the altar and put water there to wash with all. And, Aaron, and Moses and Aaron and his sons washed their hands and their feet thereof. It's kind of funny because the Catholic Church will dip themselves in that holy water and then they do the directions or whatever they do. But the priests washed their feet too. I've never seen anybody do that at the entrance of a Catholic Church. Why they... And when they went into the tent of the congregation, when they came near unto the altar, they washed as the Lord commanded Moses. And he reared up the, the court round about the tabernacle at the altar and set up the hanging of the court gate. So Moses finished the work. Now let's take two places. John 19.30. John 19.30, the, the, Moses says, it's finished. It's done. Let's see what Jesus said. In the Gospel of John, chapter 19, verse 30. The Bible records that tabernacle is finished. Even though it's not, it's going to be built by Solomon. It's going to be built by Ezra. It's going to be built for a tabernacle. It's going to be built for the new heavens and new earth. And yet Jesus says in 1930, When Jesus therefore had received the vinegar, He said, It is finished. And salvation is now complete. There is no more need for that tabernacle, that temple. It's done. The veil has been rent. You come to God today by Jesus Christ. Now, when the rapture happens during the tribulation period, you're going to have to come through Jesus and the law. That tabernacle is finished. Let's look at Numbers chapter 7, verse 1. A very hard chapter to finish. It's got some 12 times it's recorded. Same thing, 12 times. You get halfway to that chapter, you're making a list of things you got to do after you read the chapter. At least I have. In Numbers chapter 7, verse 1, it's an interesting statement here. In Exodus, we're leaving the tabernacle is built and it's set up. Everything's where it is, according to what the Lord commanded Moses, as we read over and over. And in Numbers chapter 7, we read. And it came to pass on the day that Moses had fully set up the tabernacle and anointed it and sanctified it and all the instruments thereof, both the altar and all the vessels thereof, and had anointed them and sanctified them. The princes of Israel, heads of the houses and fathers who were the princes of the tribe and were over them, they were numbered. Then we go into all the twelve tribes giving an offering. Pick up your Bible, and when you read Exodus 40, verse 33, then you pick up uh, Numbers 7, verse 1, and read on. And for twelve days, each head of the tribe of Israel will come to that tabernacle, and they will bring the offering that you read here. And back to Exodus 40. And Jesus said, it is finished. No more animals needed during the church age. Then the cloud covered the tent of the congregation, and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle. 
And Moses was not able to enter the tent in the congregation because the cloud abode thereon, and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle. And when the cloud was taken up from over the tabernacle, the children of Israel went onward in all the journeys. But if the cloud were gone, were not taken up, then the journey, then they journeyed not till the day that was taken up. And this is their guidance. For the cloud of the Lord was upon the tabernacle by day, and the fire was on it by night, in the night, in the sight of all the house of Israel, throughout all their journeys, and they for twelve days they bring their offerings. Number seven. That's an interesting thing. 